Well folks, this is what we're going to be uh, fitting today. Martin Originals 8020 Bronze Acoustic Strings. Uh, the starting point for traditional tone and feel. So these are size 12s of uh, the Martin Acoustic Strings and I'm going to be fitting these to my Yamaha, the FG331. Um, so let's just open up the packet first of all and uh, have a look at what we've got inside. Ah, very handy. Okay. There we go. Individually wrapped, which is nice. Got the sixth, sixth, fifth, fourth, third, second, and first. Excellent. Okay, so there's the first string. Excellent. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to now fit these uh, to my Yamaha acoustic and we'll come back, give it a little strum and see how they sound. strings off while I've got them off I'm just going to give this a, a good old clean it gets very dusty underneath the strings and it's not always easy to get the cloth underneath to, to clean them and um, try and get the dust off each individual fret as well as any kind of um, deposits that have built up there which can easily happen now this is quite an old acoustic when I say old I think it's probably 30 years old um, and it's had extensive use so these the wood here in the frets on the lower ends is actually got little indentations on them in here as well um, there's not a great deal I can do about that the actual metal fret itself is fine there's no no wear on top of them it's just the wood underneath um, so that shouldn't affect the, the sound too much, I wouldn't think. Get all the dust off there. This will be clean. Under here as well, that builds up quite a lot of dust and debris. Um, sometimes you can kind of feed a cloth underneath the strings when you've got the strings on. Um, that can help. extensive okay so it's a it's an old guitar a few scratches and scrapes um, but a really nice sound from it and a good all-round guitar for strumming for picking uh, finger picking um, it's just a great all-rounder um, okay, so time to fit new strings. What I prefer to do uh, when stringing um, guitar is to put the first, then the sixth, then the second, then the fifth. Um, I just feel if you, if you put them on there and tighten them up this way, it puts an extra strain on the guitar that way or that way with um, I prefer just to string them in a balanced way um, just helps preserve the life of the neck or does it I don't know it's just it's just my, maybe it's just my little um, idiosyncrasy One thing I forgot to mention was uh, here at the <clears throat> here at the nut um, in the little indentations here what I normally do is I put some graphite from a pencil so I just 
make sure I get plenty in each of these indentations. Mm. Um, and what that does is it just stops when you're tightening and loosening, it just stops the string from sticking uh, in that little, just that little area in there. The graphite just helps it to run smoother from the nut. Um, now I did, don't need to do it on this occasion um, because there's still plenty of graphite in there from the previous time that I put in. It's still kind of very grey and black in there and it's not dirt, it's the, uh, it is the graphite that I put in before. Um, and it's running running very smoothly. There's no way that's that's going to catch when when tightening. Um, so it's just a little hint or a little tip uh, when you're putting in new strings. Um, just in the nuts and the indentations, get a pencil, put as much in there uh, as you can. <laughs> Another thing which I, I like to do is to get all the strings on and try and get them more or less tuned up before I cut off the excess. I don't know why, it's just my personal way of doing things. Um, just to make sure that there's no slippage and that it's they are holding okay. Um, you want about two or three winds completely on there um, before it's starting to tighten up. Okay, so the strings are on. What we're going to do now is I'll grab my tuner. Well, first of all, actually, I'll sort these other strings out. Um, sometimes I'll keep the strings will put them into the old packet so as a, I've got spur ones there if there's a, a desperate need I'm not going to do that this time with these ones I'm just going to dump them uh, they were very good but of course all strings get old eventually and uh, dump all this and um, so I'll get the tuner we'll get this tuned up and see what it sounds like um, all fitted and neatly trimmed and the extra strings safely disposed of especially important if you've got pets um, and tuned up so what's it going to sound like well let's play the best acoustic chord in the world g Good. What about a bit of finger picking? Yeah, excellent. Um, what about a bit of bit of blues? Yeah, very nice, very nice indeed. So I can highly recommend those um, Martin strings from Amazon. Um, if you go into the description, uh, there's a link there to purchase these lovely acoustic strings at a very good price. Um, so yeah, highly recommend. Please like, please subscribe um, for more of these type of videos and unboxing videos, uh, guitar tutorial, Tutu tutorial, Tutor tutorial guitar tutorial
Thank you for watching.